My dear students, we are well aware of the fact that there are multiple syndromes in pediatrics and medicine and questions revolve around these syndromes. 10 to 15 percent of the questions in the postgraduate exams are asked about the syndromes or syndromic entities. Today my focus will be Noonan syndrome. As far as the syndromes are concerned, we have already dealt with Down syndrome, Turner's syndrome, Perry Robinson syndrome, Hunter's syndrome, Hurdler's syndrome and multiple other syndromes. But here our focus today will be just on the Noonan syndrome. As far as the Noonan syndrome is concerned, you have to remember that this syndrome is important in the fact that it closely resembles Turner's syndrome. There are certain important distinction features which I will be telling you at the end of my class but first of all the most important and high yield points about the Noonan syndrome. The inheritance pattern which the Noonan syndrome follows is usually autosomal dominant. This is asked in one liner as well. The, another important fact about Noonan syndrome is that here the karyotype is normal and it can be present both in males as well as females and the karyotype would be normal 46XX or 46XY. What are the classic and characteristic features present in patients with Noonan syndrome? All of them would be present but clinical scenarios are asked on certain facts and you have to remember that these patients invariably have got a short stature their height is decreased in addition to the fact that these patients in the web might be having typical webbing of the neck. That's a very important feature about both the Turner syndrome and the Noonan syndrome. So webbing of the neck is classically seen in patients of Noonan syndrome. The posterior hairline is low in addition to the fact that there is hypertelorism and the palpebral fissures are slanted as well. The ophthalmological problem associated with Noonan syndrome is that these patients can be having toxins as well. In addition, they might be having micrognathia and the carrying angle in the patients with Noonan syndrome would be increased cubitus valgus. The chest would be typically having the pectus excavatum type, an expanded chest. The most important fact about the Noonan syndrome is the cardiological manifestations and there is this one important clinical entity which distinguishes Noonan syndrome from other entities. The presence of pulmonary stenosis Pulmonary stenosis is a cardinal feature of Noonan syndrome. In addition, these patients might be having other cardiological manifestations in the form of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy as well as atrial septal defect. Other cardiac defects happen to be rare in case of Noonan syndrome. These patients might also have hearing loss. We are well aware of multiple congenital and pediatric conditions which are associated with hearing loss like the Down syndrome, like the Krausen syndrome, like the Appert syndrome and multiple other uh, syndromes. The Usher syndrome, the Wardenberg syndrome, but here there might be typical sensorineural hearing loss as well. One important fact is that these individuals with Noonan syndrome might be having mental retardation as well. So these are the classic and most important points about Noonan syndrome. Now how do we distinguish Noonan syndrome from Turner syndrome? Because the classic features of cubitus valgus, the webbing of the neck, the low posterior hairline would also be seen in case of Turner syndrome. The Turner syndrome would be having a typical XO genotype and the classic cardiological manifestation associated would be coarctation of aorta 
and the patients with Turner syndrome would not be having mental retardation. So the absence of mental retardation, the presence of coarctation of aorta and karyotyping living, uh, revealing XO analysis would distinguish Turner syndrome from Noonan syndrome. So these are very very important facts you have to remember about Noonan syndrome which is a question quite frequently asked and if you are lucky enough and having revised Noonan syndrome here you might expect questions ahead as well. Wish you good luck for your exams. Thanks a lot.